Hey there, it's John here with another episode of My Keto Journey. All right, uh, this is another little bit of a confession. Um, of course, I fell off the bandwagon for a few months and just trying to get back into it. Been pretty successful for the last couple of weeks. And I will tell you that I've still been continuing to do research on keto and low carb, uh, high protein, fat, all that fun stuff. So um, today what I want to talk about is uh, Dr. Ted Naiman's protein to energy ratio calculator. So uh, Dr. Ted is somebody that I have been following on Twitter for quite a while now. Um, and I found out uh, a few months ago that he's actually in Issaquah, Washington. And I live in Puyallup, Washington, which is about 35 miles south of Issaquah. And for the past few years, the doctors that I've been going to at the little local clinic here to use as my primary care physicians, when I tell them, what I'm trying to do in terms of eating, they basically tell me, if you're not gonna eat carbs, uh, we can't help you. That's not a normal American diet, and um, we just don't recommend eating that way. So it was really discouraging, even though I would come in, you know, and occasionally be 30 pounds lighter than I was three months prior, um, they would just say, yeah, sorry, that's just not sustainable, that's not possible, and we can't help you. So really discouraging. And so there's a few doctors that I'll give a shout out to on um, on Twitter that uh, if you guys want to follow, I'll put their at names up here on the screen. Uh, Dr. Ted Naiman is now my primary care physician. And uh, one of my favorite quotes from our initial meeting was, hey, if you just went to Costco every day and bought one of their rotisserie chickens and just ate the entire chicken for lunch, I'd be very happy. So, my kind of doctor. Um, so anyway, maybe we just go around and we find the person that has the message that we most want to hear. And I don't know if that's the best way to choose a primary care physician, but uh, I'm willing to give this a shot. And uh, Honestly, if you if you look Ted up on Twitter, I'll put my doctor up against anybody else's doctor in a in a body composition contest. So just go ahead and look around at a few of his photos and tell me that uh, this isn't a decent way to eat. But anyway, so uh, Dr. Ted Naiman is number one. Uh, Dr. Tro is another one. Uh, Dr. Tro was a big guy like me and discovered this way of eating and he helps people on the East Coast um, do this same thing. Uh, Dr. Ken Berry, also somebody that I follow. And then Tro's partner on his uh, Low Carb MD podcast, Brian, and I can't pronounce his last name, but uh, I'll put his at up here as well. And then in terms of intermittent fasting, Dr. Jason Fung. So. Those are the doctors that I'm following on Twitter. Um, there's probably a few more, but those are the ones that stand out most to me. And uh, a lot of them also have some good YouTube channels. So um, anyway, check those guys out. And um, so anyway, uh, let's get into this protein to energy ratio calculator. Um, you can see it here on the left side of the screen. And basically it's got a an input for protein in grams, fat grams, carbohydrate grams, and fiber grams. And the easiest way to think about this is um, protein versus energy. And so carbs and fat are your energy, and protein is protein. And so you can look down here and you can see that there's this, this purple arrow down here. And as I change the inputs up here, the arrow will move up or down based on what I do. So the more protein I put in, so if I just had something that was 12 grams of protein and no grams of fat and no grams of carbohydrate and no grams of fiber, you can see that it goes all the way up straight up. Now, as I add in a couple grams of fat, that comes down maybe four grams of carbohydrate 
And then fiber, if you guys are used to counting net carbs, so if you take carbohydrate grams, subtract fiber, that's your net carbs. Same thing here. So if I take away two grams of fiber, um, that'll move that needle up. Okay, so that's kind of the basic idea. And really, when you're down here at a one-to-one -one ratio, so if we just tweak this to be 12, 0, and 0, we're at a one-to-one. -one. Well, 0. All right, so we're at a one-to-one. -one. So basically, we're treating fat and carbohydrate minus fiber the same as protein. And so this is what we would call a maintenance level right here. So you're one-to-one -one protein to energy. As you dial up the protein, so let's add 24, now we're at a two-to-one. You can see this over here, protein to energy ratio. So the further up the arrow is pointing, the more into fat loss you are, and the further down the arrow is pointing, you're into fat gain. Make sense? So this makes it really easy if you're going through and you're looking at nutrition labels in the grocery store. Um, so if you just look at something and it's got, say, 15 grams of protein, 4 grams of fat, and 2 grams of carbohydrate, you just subtract the, the fat and the carbohydrate from the protein. As long as there's still protein left, you're going to be in the fat loss category. If you're in a negative, then you're in a fat gain category. So this morning, one of Ted's followers tweeted out a uh, meal prep tweet that showed some roast beef uh, wrapped around some asparagus with some uh, a little bit of mayonnaise in there. So what I did is I stopped at Safeway on the way in. Um, that seemed like a really good uh, food source for me today. It sounded good. Um, so basically what I did is I picked up a pound of um, Safeway Open Nature ro Roast Beef. Uh, I picked up a five ounce box of baby spinach and uh, some avocado oil best foods mayonnaise. And so I'm going to put all three of those things into the calculator and then show you when, when I decide to eat today, I'm probably going to eat half of that roast beef a couple ounces of the baby spinach and about, I'm gonna guess, about three tablespoons of the mayonnaise. So over here on the right-hand side, I've got everything pulled up in my fitness pal. So here's the open nature roast beef. You can see over here, it's got 16 grams of fat, it's got no carbohydrates, and it's got 23 grams of protein. So let's plug that into the protein to energy ratio. So we've got 23 grams of protein, we've got 16 grams of fat, and no carbohydrates. So right there you can see we're at about a 1.5 to 1, technically a 1.44 to 1. So that's the open nature roast beef. So that would be something in the fat loss category. If I was just to eat that roast beef, be fine all day, okay? Now let's take a look at the spinach. Um, this is gonna be something that has a little bit of fiber in it so you can see how that, that interacts. So uh, on the spinach, you can see uh, I've got baby spinach up here, one ounce. Total fat is zero. Protein is one gram, but we've got one gram of carbohydrate and one gram of fiber. So one gram of protein, no grams of fat, one gram of carbohydrate. So now right now we're at a one point we're at a one point o or a one to one ratio. But when I take the fiber, which subtracts the carbohydrates, puts it basically straight up to, pure protein, okay? Because the fiber subtracts out from the carbs, so there's no sugar in this. So that's awesome. Okay, now we're gonna look at something. So that's something that's basically pure protein. The roast beef is something that has a mix of protein and energy. Now we'll look at something that's just pure energy. Um, Information Society comes to mind. Uh, for those of you that were alive in the 80s and 90s. Pure energy. Pure energy. Um, anyway, so here we have no protein in the mayonnaise, but we have 7 grams of fat 
and we have one gram of carbohydrate and no grams of fiber. So you can see now that that arrow is stuck down here. So basically what I said is I'm going to have eight ounces of the roast beef, two ounces of spinach, and three tablespoons of mayonnaise. So I added up what all of those are going to be. And we're at 184 grams of protein. Bam! Back up there. But, oh sorry, we're at 186 grams of protein. And uh, for fat grams, we're at, uh, unfortunately, 150. Um, carbohydrates, we're at four with one gram of fiber. So that puts me at a 1.22 protein to energy ratio. Now I'm a big guy. Uh, I would much rather see myself being up above 1.5, approaching 2.5 for a meal like this. But when you look at this, this is 2,106 calories and it's got a good amount of fat. Um, so I'm definitely not gonna be hungry for a while after this. The other thing that I've been trying to do is uh, intermittent fasting, uh, trying to eat between the hours of 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. So that's an eight hour eating window with a 16 hour fast every day. Um, if you want more information about the protein to energy ratio, um, down here at the bottom, there's about protein to energy ratio and the best diet for high PE ratio. So if you click on that about PE ratio, you'll get this. And down here towards the bottom, Ted actually did a video explaining it. Um, it's about 20, I think about 23 minutes long, but it's fantastic. Uh, if you want to geek out on the science of why this works, um, that's a great video. I, I would definitely follow Ted on Twitter. Um, he's got some awesome infographics that he puts out all the time and uh, certainly awesome dude. Um, if you click on um, some of the, the stuff to eat, this is on the Diet 2.0 from the Burn Fat Not Sugar um, domain, which is uh, Ted's domain as well. So he's got some uh, examples of what you should be eating. And then if you go to Burn Fat Not Sugar, um, this is the home for that. Um, so again, it's got all of those same things and then, uh, talks about introduction to why this is great. Um, talks about what it is, um, what not to eat, what to eat, what to eat too, how to cook some sample meals, um, when to eat talks about, I mean, it's got everything in here. So, um, Honestly, when I was doing the Keto Gains Boot Camp um, and trying to track my carbohydrates and fat and protein every day, when I did a good job of that, I noticed that if I ate 200 or more grams of protein and kept my fat below 100 grams, um, and then I was always eating probably about 25 grams of carbohydrates or less, that I would have the best weight loss. Now, as much as I love the Keto Gains Boot Camp for the exercise that it gives you, the calculator and separating out all of these carbohydrates and fats and proteins every day was just a pain for me. So when I stumbled on Ted's um, protein to energy ratio, and by the way, you can find that at ptoer.com, so protein to energy ratio.com. Um, when I stumbled on that, it was like a light bulb went off and it, I understood at that point why basically double the protein to fat was such an effective measure for me. Um, so the challenge that I've always had is getting enough protein and, um, and I think now I've figured out good ways to do that. So, um, I'm basically using this to just make sure that pretty much everything that I put into my body ends up being, you know, throughout the course of a day better than a one to one ratio. Um, obviously, I'd like to try and get that higher. You can see that um, poultry is higher than beef on here. Fish is higher than poultry. Um, you know, leafy greens are better than cruciferous vegetables, that sort of thing. So um, and you can see like a whole chicken here. 
um, is like 2.5, but when you get to chicken breast, obviously it doesn't have as much fat in it. So that's, you know, up towards a, a 5.0. So I really dislike chicken breast. Um, I will eat it if, if I can slather it in something, um, but it's just too dry for me. So I prefer the, you know, chicken thighs and drumsticks myself. So, you know, I sacrifice a bit of fat burning for flavor there. But um, anyway, I just kind of wanted to, to get this out there. Somebody had asked about it and uh, I know somebody else had put a video out there as well, but uh, I just thought it would be a good video to put out and uh, introduce you to some guys that I follow and uh, hopefully you can get them some more followers and just start getting the word out more. Also, one other thing that I want to mention, um, if you guys would go on to um, iTunes or your favorite uh, streaming platform and buy the documentary by Vinnie Tortorich uh, called Fat, a documentary. Um, number one, it's a fantastic documentary. Kind of talks about some of this stuff and goes into the history of how we ended up with the standard American diet, which I love the fact that standard American diet spells sad. Um, it's a fantastic documentary to kind of walk you through that. And it includes a bunch of the folks um, that I've followed for years, uh, like Vinnie Tortorich and Nina T. Colts, um, those guys. Um, it's awesome. And uh, my name is in the credits because I, I uh, helped the Indiegogo campaign uh, when it was trying to get funded. So um, anyway, that's cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear some comments down below what you think of it. And I uh, hope you're having a great day. And maybe I'll, uh, I'll get back on the horse and produce some more of these videos as I start to see my weight fall off right now. I'll just say that I'm in the 350s, um, down from the 380s, which I'm happy about. Um, so right now my goal is to be um, under 340 by September 19th and uh, under 335 by November 12th, which I think is, both are totally doable. I've just got uh, a couple trips in there, one to Las Vegas and one to Dallas, which will um, hopefully not set me back too much. My trip to Austin this week set me back 11 pounds, of which I've lost five so far. So anyway, that's where we're at. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.